Hello friends, it is Tuesday the 29th and yesterday I got my steroid injection. So <clears throat> it was okay, a bit unpleasant, um, not terrible. Um, simply laid on the table on my back, turned my head up um, and he numbed the eardrum a little bit and then he went ahead and put the steroid in. There was no pain with any of that, just a little pressure, a little heat. Um, of course, as soon as the steroid began entering my middle ear space, I began to get dizzy. So if you think of the teacup ride or the tilt-a-whirl, um, that's what it felt like. Um, lasted maybe a minute, two minutes tops. Um, Dr. Wyatt stayed in the room for, with me for about the first five minutes or so, making sure I was okay. The dizziness had subsided. It was essentially just me laying there um, <clears throat> with my little suction tube. Here's a photo so you can kind of see. Um, I was just essentially laying there with my ear up and then suctioning out my saliva because I don't want you swallowing in that first 30 minutes. Um, the nurse came and checked on me a couple times at the end of the 30 minutes, making sure everything was okay, gave me some discharge instructions, um, which was interesting because um, in my mind, I thought, well, once the 30 minutes is up, I can go ahead and swallow. And technically you can, they still just don't recommend it because as you swallow some of that stuff in your ear can get in your throat because of the eustachian tube. It connects your ear to your throat. And so sure enough, I swallowed, um, tasted that stuff, and so tried not to swallow on my 40-minute ride home, just kind of spit into an empty water bottle. And then, you know, it's been okay. Um, that first night, if I made a sudden head movement change, I felt a little sharp or shocking pain in the ear, but that seems to be subsided today. Um, I do want to look in my ear. It's almost like, have you ever had a surgery or a big gash and you like remove the bandage because you want to see what does it look like? That's kind of what I'm wanting to see. So let's check out my ear. I'm going to look in the right ear first so you guys can see what a good healthy eardrum looks like and then we'll go ahead and look in the left. All right, so I've got my Medrax video otoscope. Let's take a look. Here's my right ear. And ooh, got a nice big gob of wax in there, um, but there's my eardrum. And so everything looks healthy, you get a nice reflection of light. You can see the middle ear bones through the eardrum. Everything looks really good there. All right, let's do the left ear, got a new tip. We're gonna go ahead and remove the cotton. Looks nice and clean. Let's see what we got here. Mm, there we go. Ooh. And you can kind of see, I'm guessing there is where the uh, needle went through, where they did the injection there. Otherwise, nice and clean and um, get a, a nice cone of reflection of light. So that's great. Overall, everything I think is looking really good. All right, so there we go. You got to see inside my ear canals. Of course, I will keep you guys posted. My follow-up visit is not until six weeks because it does take some time for the hole in the eardrum to heal. Um, as far as the cochlear high drops, will it come back? We don't know. We're hoping that this will help at least not have it come back as frequently or ever. I'm still doing the low sodium diet and of course um, doing my relaxation exercises, trying to help reduce my stress giving people in my life more responsibilities, um, and hopefully that will help. Fingers crossed. All right, friends, have a great day.